my team turn. Take me out on the water. We fishing. Way out in the woods. Where the breathing is easy, the living is good. Out in the grave. And welcome to Leary Smith Outdoors. We're sponsored by the Badger Sportsman Magazine, Bartline Barrels, Warrior Boats, Big Snow Resort, Lynch and McGuanago, Wings Over Wisconsin, Mike's Country Meats, Midwest Shooter Supplies, Burger Smokehouse, Delco, Vexlar, Dick Smith's Bait and Tackle, Come Along Measuring Tools, Commick Law Firm, Norm Zag, and Jiffy. And remember, it's a great day to be alive. Holy moly. Thing good about being a camera guy, you get pampered. <laughs> Kevin, baby. Take that, boys. How about that? Nice. That was. I was neat. like reaching for the goose call. Like, oh, I'm like, we're coming, boys. Wow. That's this locked in. How often does that happen? Oh, oh, not man. very often. That was in premium. the face. Right. Nicely done, boys. Wow. More shooting for one bird than a whole flock. Hey, good morning and welcome to Larry Smith Outdoors. I'll tell you today, we are up in northern Wisconsin and we're actually doing a blast and cast with our good friend Jeff Vandermorter. Hey, Jeff. Hey, buddy. You know what? I have never done a blast and cast and this is really a cool opportunity to see what Northern Wisconsin has to offer. Yeah, I would agree, man. We got a lot of things to offer this time of year. You got everything from, you know, your deer, your turkeys, if you're into that, or, or bow hunting. Um, but uh, ducks and muskies are a great combination, in my opinion. And you do quite a few of these trips where guys can come out in the morning and hunt ducks and then, yeah, you hunt, then you'll do. fish the rest of the afternoon away, huh? Yep, and we target typically muskies. You know, ducks in the morning, muskies in the afternoon is our is our game plan for the most part. Every now and then a walleye trip maybe earlier on, but this time of year is prime time for muskies and that's what we like to focus on this time of year. Hey, and, and Jeff, you also will be doing some open water layout hunting out on the Bay of Green Bay and Lake Michigan too. Tell us yep. about that a little That's bit. That's correct. Yeah, so uh, we go for uh, divers and sea ducks. Um, we predominantly shoot um, a, a good mix of divers, uh, cans, bluebills, redheads, golden eyes, buffalo head, as well as old squaw. And we've killed um, all three scoter species. We've killed a few harlequins over the year, a little bit of everything, but some our good main mountain targets, ducks, huh? Yeah, definitely. But our main, our main target are your divers and sea ducks. Um, and that starts up about late October and goes through season close. Uh, which is always the first Sunday, December. This should be December 3rd. Well, that's absolutely awesome. Hey, you got to tell everybody about our guest here, Ryan. Yeah. Yep, he stood up in your wedding he too, did. did he? Yeah, he's a good friend of mine. This is Ryan Demashek, and uh, owner of the Black Bear Restaurant just outside of uh, Manaqua there, and a uh, longtime friend of mine. Good shot, good on the. Uh, <laughs> does what he can. Right. And you made him leave his dog at home today, so I we did. had I to go out there and get all the bring, birds. We did, yeah. Right. Next time we'll have to bring the dog for sure. That's, that today is. would have been a great day for the dog. That was my mistake. I thought I, I messed up. So the next two days, we're going to obviously duck hunt in the mornings and fish muskies in the afternoon. Yep, that's going to be the game plan. We'll see what we can go uh, you know, put together here. We've got the full moon in October. 
always a classic time to, to you know for duck migration as well as musky bite and uh, should pan out well hopefully we can get some nice birds and uh, and uh, get a couple nice fish to go with it. That's awesome. Hey, I'll tell you what, stay tuned and let's see what happens in the next couple days up here in northern Wisconsin. Creating a fishing boat that delivers unsurpassed fishability, speed, and performance on the water is achieved through an ongoing commitment to quality and a driving passion for making great boats even better. You'll see this commitment to quality and a passion for building the fisherman's boat in every Warrior Boat model you see on the water. For additional information on Warrior Boat's new V208, check out their website at warriorboatsinc.com or visit your local Warrior Boats dealer to schedule a test drive and see for yourself why no fishing boat on the market offers a smoother, drier ride, more interior cockpit space, more storage, more room to fish big water in complete comfort and safety than the V208 from Warrior Boats. Dalco, far and away the nation's leading boat cover manufacturer, precisely fit for a large variety of OEM makes and models. Dalco Premium Covers are the boating equivalent of a hand-tailored suit. Not only are Dalco Covers the best fitting and best quality, they include unique features like our Polis cover lift system and ratchet attachment system, making them the easiest and fastest covers to install and remove. Visit DalcoMarine.com for more information on how to order. Use promo code LARRY10 to receive a 10% discount today. Burger Smokehouse, your handcrafted smoked meat headquarters since 1952. Our dry rub recipes, aging process, and natural hardwood smoking come together to create bold, satisfying flavors that we are proud to stand behind. Whether it's summer sausage, hearty sportsman's cut bacon, or dry rub barbecue ribs, we are your source for top-notch hardwood smoked meats that you'll be proud to serve family and friends. Visit us online at smokehouse.com or look us up at your local grocery store. I'm gonna tell you something right now. If they don't have Sundrop in Raleigh and Helens, we ain't coming here anymore. Oh, they are lucky. Look at this. Go, guys. Right, I'm like, they got their lucky. Or maybe we're lucky, because otherwise, where would we get bait? <laughs> Suckers and Sundrop. Suckers. Shot, buddy. Hey, I wonder if we can put these in the same bucket. Suckers and Sundrop. <laughs> <laughs> sure, why not? Hey, I'll tell you what, welcome back to Larry Smith Outdoors and we had a great morning duck hunting. Hey Jeff, now we're switching gears and we're gonna do what? We're gonna go for some muskies, man. Oh, I we're love the sound of that. 45 minutes off for moon right now. We got everything cleaned up, got our birds taken care of and now we're out uh, see if we can get a couple of big toothy fish. No, what kind of techniques are we gonna be using today for muskies out here? You know, it'll be a mix of casting, uh, maybe a little bit of bucktails, but mostly jerk baits and rubber have been our prim primary. Okay. Um, that's been the best bite the last couple days. Um, stuff in the rubber category, your bulldogs, medusas, kermits, um, a couple of stuff, stuff like that, and then also, you know, suix and, and a mix of other jerk baits will probably be the bulk of what we throw today. Okay. Uh, per perhaps some crane baits or some double Ds, stuff in the jerk bait jerkbait family, pull paws. Uh, now, are we working these fish in deep water or are we gonna be working them shallow? A lot of our baits concentrated shallow right now. Our water temperatures are between 61 and about 63 degrees. Uh, we were on a good fall of, of water temperature earlier this week. Um, we've come to about a stabilization now, as you saw today. I mean, we had a good duck shoot this morning. A lot of birds coming right away with it being 65 degrees. Right. I mean, that's pretty unusual for October. You are. October. You're not kidding about definitely, that. Definitely, definitely unusual. So the fishing's kind of been the same way. It's been steady. We've been getting some good bites and we've been getting some big bites. Um, and so we got the full moon. We've got everything on our side. We've got some decent weather. Some I'd like storms to hear coming. that. So I think we're in good shape. See if we can get a couple to go. Well, that's awesome. Hey, you know, one thing we're going to be doing uh, that I never do is we're gonna be running some quick straight rigs. Like when we're fishing up on the Bay of Green Bay or Pete and Well for muskies, we don't run any live bait up there at all. Sure. So I'm very interested to see how you hook that quick strike rig up with the suckers. Yeah, you know, it's really, there's a lot of ways to do it. Um, I use one, I use one from uh, Jake Smith, the Smitty Boys over there. 
Um, I've had great success with it. We've we've only boated three fish on suckers so far this year, but it's early. I mean, last week we just started using them, right? And we've we've had action on them every time out, whether it was fish chasing them, eating, you know, and playing with them or eating them. But every bite we've had, we've connected on and landed the fish. So. Um, it's, it's a pretty effective way to take it. The thing you want to remember is you don't want to wait too long on it and they are designed to be a quick set, right? They grab the bait and you're setting and ripping that harness off of that sucker and into that musky's face as quick as, as possible okay. to prevent them from swallowing it. So hey, that's I'll, a neat way to do it. That's awesome. Hey, I'll tell you what, stay tuned. Let's see what happens on our musky expedition here. Now you're going to show us how we hook one of these suckers up on this quick strike rig. Yeah, it's a pretty simple process when they cooperate anyway. Simple when you've done it a bunch of times. Yeah, and when they and when they cooperate, you know, I typically I'll run it so that they go on, on I'll run it on both both on one side. Right. Okay. Pop a few scales Pop back. Pop in there. And the other thing I think a lot of people might forget to do that I would highly encourage you to do is to sharpen the hooks on these. Okay. All right, this is pretty sharpened. I tied up a fresh one because we caught one on a sucker just the other day. So this is and it destroys the harness sometimes depending on your rig, but on this one, it, it was completely trash. So there you go, you've got it. Ideally, the muskie's gonna grab it either right here okay. or right here, and you're gonna set this wire and cable will rip out of there, and these trebles will, will find their mark. Okay. Excellent, let's see what happens. Now, you've got a Medusa on here. Yep. Why don't you show people at home the proper way to work one of these rubber baits? You know, there's really no bad way to work it. Some guys okay. will straight reel it. What we're gonna do today is we're gonna rip paws, all right? Today you're gonna pull, yep. and then you're reeling down. You're pulling, reeling down. You see- How much of a pause are you actually giving? You know, it? just as you're picking up your line, you wanna be sure to not be moving the bait. Okay. I guess is the best way to put it. So you're out on a cast, and you're pulling, and you pull like this, and then you're reeling down. And as I'm pulling, I'm reeling down and picking up the slack. This is a high speed, this is a beast. So it picks up re uh, reel, uh, line very quickly. Okay. Um, so as you're reeling, you're just moving the rod towards the bait, and that will account for that pause. You just don't want the bait to be, you don't want it to be coming in like this and, and never stopping. Okay. okay. The key is is always, almost always, especially this time of year, that pause, that, that definitive pause. pause where it kind of belly rolls and, and then flutters like that and comes up, and they'll come and grab it. And on the figure eight too, same kind of thing, keep those jerks in there. Figure eight's oh, an extension of the cast. Oh, even when you're figure eighting, keep yeah, it Yeah, you can straight eight it, but a lot of times that little pulsing like this, they'll come and they'll head hunt it, they'll come up, um, they'll, they'll dive under the boat, even if you don't see that fish, keep doing that. Right. Uh, you don't get a ton of boat side fish on rubber, but if you get that one that comes in seeing red that's ready to kill, um, that's a really good way to get them. Is keep popping it like that in the figure eight, not to be too obnoxious with right. it. You don't want it to be too crazy with, with the, you know, but just an extension of the cast. You're, you're keeping it going, you get that rod tip down, you're going like this. And if you get hit at the boat, remember to set hard into the side. Okay. Never up. Never up. Never okay. up. And that's the big thing. Because if you set up like that, you're pulling that fish out of the water. And you pull that fish out of the water, I mean, there's really no good, no good way for that to end. Hey, when the fish aren't biting, I can tell you one thing that will get them biting. A little jerky from Mike's Country Meats. Ghost pepper, baby. Bring it on. Jeff? Yes, sir. Solidarity jerky. A little ghost pepper for you? Hey, best mojo riser in the boat. I love jerky. it. You want some? Good okay. for ducks, good for muskies. Yep. Got one going, Jeff? Yep, he's on there, buddy. All right, you gonna take him? No, I'll tell you what, you're gonna, I'm gonna catch up to him here. He. I saw him, I looked, I heard a, I heard it zip. He must have hit it and come back, and then I just saw the fish open up no and grab kidding. it. Yeah, pretty sweet. I'm gonna turn the boat and okay. uh, and we'll get ready. Go ahead and hook up your bait here, Larry. Okay. Okay, so remember what we talked about on this? Yep. You're gonna set hard and away. Okay. Yep. I gotta figure out where this puppy's at. Right here. I think he's right there, yep. Mm -hmm. Alright, so we're gonna get him going away. You're gonna yank hard into the side. Hard into the side. Okay, he's going this way. I'm gonna hand it to you, and you're gonna pound him going this way, okay? Okay. Alright, buddy. Okay. Go ahead. Ready? Yep, get him. Oh, that's a good fish. Let me through, let me through. Yeah, feels oh, good. Got him. Right to me. Oh, he's wrapped around it. Yeah, he's around it. Got him? Yeah. Woo! Nice. Yeah. Nice job. Uh, nice work. Man. Wow. How thank about you, that? man. That's we'll take awesome. it. Made his way through moon, little weather change. And yep. like I said, all I saw was a big flash. Yeah, that's a nice fish, man. Upper 30s all day. That's a good fish. Maybe 40 plus. That's He's got a big head, man. That's a yeah, nice fish. Yeah, he does. That's a really nice fish. What do you need me to do? Uh, I need a pliers. Yep. And I need my little cushion there. Cushion? Perfect. That's what it's really for, not just for Dan's convenience, but. Oh, that's what I thought oh, it was. Oh, in here I, I thought it was special. Well, hey. you know, I, I like to take care of you. You know, I try to help you out. But. So one thing I want to tell everybody at home, 
that the key to this catching these muskies. We just what did we just do a couple minutes ago? Eat those peppers. Mike's country meats. Honestly, folks, it wasn't five minutes. You're right. We, had we haven't a fish. seen a fish. That, look at that. Yeah. That's a nice looking fish, man. Big oh, that's on beautiful. Him. And guess what? You got them perfectly. You came into the net, and that's exactly what these quick strike rigs are right. designed to do. Oh, nice oh. fish, Jeff. Beautiful. Really nice fish. Boy, I'll tell you what, that is the way to start the day off right there. Great morning duck hunting. Come out here and right away take our first fish. That's yeah, it awesome. took us about a little over an hour or so. Yep. A little change in the weather, a little sprinkle right before a little cloud burst. A little Mike's country heard meets. The, heard the sucker getting restless back there. Turned around just in time to see the flash and we'll All get right. her back. Well awesome. over 40, real nice fish. Great, let's All get right, that bud. one back in yep. the water. Get her back. Well, that shouldn't take long on this one. She's pretty green. Netted right away. Just like we like to do it, quick and easy, off right away. She's out. Whoa. The guillotine, the most versatile jigging and hook setting system the fishing industry has ever seen. Programmed and customized jigging and hook setting techniques. Bringing innovative remote control technology to the fishing world. This all-purpose tool will change the way you fish. The guillotine, made by Rut Finn. At Jiffy, we break new ground. In fact, every decision we make revolves around it. The new Jiffy 46 Extreme is 49 cc's of unmatched power with a fixed position propane system and over twice the efficiency for low end torque. Or go ninja with the Jiffy 44 Pro, the lightest in its class, the best in power and portability inside and outside. The only ice augers built in the USA. Jiffy, we put the world on ice. Badger Sportsman Magazine is the longest running outdoor magazine in the state of Wisconsin. Badger Sportsman provides you with the best information from local Wisconsin guides and professionals so you can be successful in the outdoors. Whether you're in a boat or a tree stand, Badger Sportsman Magazine is the new go-to for information on duck hunting, deer hunting, hard and soft water fishing, and more. Enjoy our product reviews, quick tips, and all of our articles on our website today. Wings Over Wisconsin, a nonprofit organization dedicated to natural resource restoration, preservation, and education with youth and community involvement. Through cooperation with private landowners, state and federal agencies, Wings Over Wisconsin has been a leader in the preservation of our natural wildlife habitat with donated dollars staying in Wisconsin for Wisconsin. For information about how you can join this great organization or how to start a new chapter, please visit wingsoverwisconsin.org. Kelp. <laughs> Nicely done, gentlemen. Did you guys only get two out of that big flock? What do you mean? Tell them, Ryan. Well, maybe. Right? We don't like to all of a sudden, you know, limit out right away. Right? We're going to fish muskies today, but you know what? We want to shoot a few ducks this morning. We like prolong things. That's it was all about prolonging things. Nice job. Not sure how big it is. Oh sure, it's a musk. Oh yeah, good job. Yeah, you want to grab a net for oh, me there? Nice. Yeah, you hit it kind of weird, and then you kind of stop. He's not real big, but he's yeah. a decent fish. fish. Yeah, we'll take it. And just kind of keep them, yeah, there you go, kind of lift it, yeah, there you go. I don't want to high bag them, yeah. perfect. Nice little musky. Yeah. Whoa, little musky. Yeah, feisty little guy. Funky. Yeah, something got a hold of them yeah. in the backside. Yeah, I'd like there. to see the one that got a hold of them. Yeah, right? Right. All right, good job. Yeah, good fish. Gone. Hey, I'll tell you what, this week's tip of the week brought to you by our good friends up at Mike's Country Meats, the finest jerky on the planet. Hey, I'll tell you what, Jeff, I just noticed you doing something. 
that I have never done before. I always use my leader. I just use the snap on the leader. And now I see you're doing something different. Why don't you tell us? Yeah, you know, for these, and it's not something I invented. A lot of really good musky fishermen do this. A lot of guys that are seasoned. Any kind of a jerk bait, um, and some guys use it for everything, um, but any kind of a jerk bait or rubber uh, in particular, suix in particular also, um, using a steel ring like this and a number seven, which is a good universal size, seven split ring like that. And any fishing players or especially split ring players will have that little beak on there to do it, but using a split ring connection like this um, really alleviates the problem of having a snap fail or open when a fish hits. Um, two reasons for that. One, a snap can fatigue, um, much like when you bend a paper clip, you know, back and forth a bunch of times. It's right. much stronger metal than that. But you know, that rip pause, hard torque, especially you guys that really crank on rubber uh, and big jerk baits, uh, it fatigues that metal and sooner or later you can come out with a broken snap. Uh, the other thing that can happen is you can get a fish, they come up, they head hit it, and when they do, they torque it, they move all over, and you know, there's so much power and so much pressure there, and a lot of times it can, it can actually get that. If you can open it with your fingers, they can get it open with their mouth. Right. One out of a hundred times, maybe, but that's one more. Yeah, who wants to, to take that chance? And I have had it happen, you know, two times to me, once on rubber, once on a suic. Okay. Mostly careless mistakes, kind of a knew better, did it anyway, right. and paid the price. But, um, you know, early on, and you, you know better, but that is uh, the best way to do it. Uh, another tip for Suix, always run a steel leader. That's my preferred way. Um, something with a titanium or something that doesn't kink and goes right back to true form uh, is a good way to do it. But um, they're designed to run with that along with a lot of other jerk baits and glide baits. But steel rings, super, super, super crucial. And it's gonna put some more fish in your boat and hopefully save some fish lives. So they're not swimming around with baits in their gullet. Awesome, great tip of the week. Thanks again to our good friends up at Mike's Country Meats up in Tigerton, the finest jerky on the planet. For over 25 years, Midwestern Shooter Supply has been your premier dealer for hunting supplies. Our staff is friendly, experienced, and certified with over 15 years in gunsmithing experience. We're your one-stop shop for your hunting needs. Our inventory is at the lowest possible price, and we will match any other dealer advertised price. Do you do more than hunt? Check out our supply of fishing products as well. Visit Midwestern Shooter Supply today, or shop our web store at mwshooters.com. Midwestern Shooter Supply, we want to be your outdoor supplier. Vexilar, always innovating, never imitating. For nearly 60 years, Vexilar has been the innovator to help anglers catch more fish. The FLX sonar technology changed the flasher sonar world forever with the creation of the FLX 28. Now the FLX 12 features a brilliant display and easy to use two button control system. The FLX 20 is packed with features like zoom zones and a three color palette display. To learn more about FLX technology, visit vexilar.com. I'm Mark Green. I'm Patrick Lynch. Welcome to our all new Lynch McQuanago dealership. The brand new Lynch McQuanago dealerships have over 500 new Chevys, Chryslers, Dodges, Jeeps, Rams, and pre owned vehicles in stock and all priced to sell. Stop by and check out their massive selection of trucks and SUVs, perfect for all your fall outdoor sports. You do the driving, we'll do the listening, because I want you to love how you feel in your new ride. Nobody sells for less than Lynch. Moon is 451. That's oh, 451. That was absolutely awesome. That's my oh. first muskie on a top water. And I'll tell you, Jeff, that was extremely cool. Very cool, you know. I had <laughs> I had one light up on it about you know 10, 15 minutes ago. And boy, I'll tell you, that fish absolutely boy, it kind of scares you. Yeah. Yeah. You get lulled into complacency, Whoa, right? You do, Just yeah. Enjoying the colors, enjoying the right. weather, and out of nowhere, here they Ooh. come. Got nice work, love. man. You know what? Good fish. Chunky little guy. Yep. Pretty fish. 
again, I've, I've caught in bigger muskies, but on a top water like that, that was absolutely cool. Heck yeah, man. Well, our window's open. Yeah, let's get, get another one. Let's yeah, man. Him. Let's get him. Four. <laughs> He's out of here. Yeah, that was Number cool. Three, baby. That was cool. <laughs> that was cool. Good. Good job. Good job. It's like fish. Yeah, it's the same part, right? It's like fish. It is nice. Woo! I gotta get my beat. Nice fish. Yeah, man. Nice <laughs> I knew. Job. I thought for sure I burned Woo! that one, buddy. Right, nice you came back and just crushed oh. it. Nice job. Boy, I'll tell you, you stayed with that fish. Yeah, man. Ready? Nice job. Nice. Woo! Oh, man. How often do you get that lucky, buddy? Hey, right, you know, that I, is awesome. I hit it. He just came up and he smoked it. And like I said, wow. it was not by any means a crushing blow, but like a good hit. And, right. Oh, man. I, I couldn't believe I whiffed on him, but he must not have got any hooks, just felt the wood and yeah, that's one amazing. more cast right back in there, there it was. Right. And whoo, Poor man. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. Boy, he looked that head when he was playing. God I love nice. it. All right, boy, Gotta love it. Northern Wisconsin. You know, I'm so used to fishing up on the bay and you know we catch a lot of big muskies up there. But boy, I'll tell you, Jeff, there's definitely something special about fishing northern Wisconsin. I would have to agree. No doubt. No doubt. Gotta love it. Green goblins. <laughs> Every day. You day. never get sick of fishing. You really don't. You don't. You don't. It doesn't matter if they're 30 inches or 50 inches. They're all fun to catch. Absolutely. Good quality fish like this will take all day long. That's awesome. Hey, I'll tell you what, Jeff. Had absolutely awesome time up here in northern Wisconsin on the blast and cast. You know what? Two days of this solid fun, which is I'm a lucky guy. And I'll tell you that, we appreciate everything you've done for us. And hey, if people want to come out here and enjoy some good duck hunting, some great musky fishing, and you've got a bunch of other stuff going on and ice fishing coming up, That's great. tell everybody how they can get a hold of you. Uh, the best way to get in touch with me is either my phone number, 920-639-6286, or my website, wisconsinduckhunts.com, or wisconsinmuskie, with a Y, fishingguide.com. Awesome, buddy. I appreciate yeah. that. Good to see you again, yep. man. Always Th a blast. Thank you. Hey, and make sure everybody checks out the Badger Sportsman magazine. Order your subscription. I'll tell you a lot of great articles in here. And it's a great way when you can't be on the water in the woods to feel like you are, for sure. Hey, and make sure you check us out on our social media sites. And remember, like I always say, what a great day and a great night to be alive. And thank you. Ryan Demashik, um, R Y N D O M A S Z E K, Thank Polish you. assassin. Polish <laughs> assassin, I love it. It's good. The otter or Polish assassin. There you go. Right. You have to be your, your suit name on here. Right. Suit. Maybe if I drop a few pounds, it'd be easier. Yeah, I think you maybe you should drop it. <laughs> I, like, I feel like I'm an Egyptian and you're the king.